if I told you that a quiet man solved a problem the world thought was impossible? A man who unlocked secrets hidden in nature itself, yet remained a mystery to the world? This is the story of Jesse Douglas, the genius who battled the impossible and won. Born on July 3, 1987, in New York City, a place of towering ambitions, Jesse Douglas was the son of working-class parents. There were no scientists in the family, no mathematicians, but there was a spark, a hunger to understand the world beyond what the eyes can see. He was born in a Jewish family. Jesse Douglas's parents were Louis Douglas and Sarah Kamel. Douglas wasn't a loud child. He wasn't seeking fame. He sought answers, answers hidden in the elegant language of mathematics. He showed brilliance early on. His teachers saw it, his peers felt it, but Jesse stayed humble, a quiet storm of curiosity. Douglas entered the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a place where dreams met discipline. In 1920, he graduated with honors, by 1924, he earned his PhD, diving deep into the ocean of mathematics. His passion, geometry, not just shapes and lines, but the geometry of life, nature, and the universe itself. For over a century, mathematicians wrestled with a nightmare, the plateaus problem. Imagine this. A simple soap film stretched across a wire. Looks easy, right? But finding its exact mathematical shape? That's Plateau's problem. This is impossible. We've been at this for days. Perhaps some problems are not meant to be solved. A riddle that haunted mathematicians for over a hundred years. Brilliant minds tried and failed. The problem wasn't just hard. It felt impossible, until Jesse Douglas walked in. Jesse didn't chase fame, he chased truth. And in 1931, he cracked it, presenting a groundbreaking solution that stunned the mathematical world, a combination of genius, geometry, and pure grit. His secret, courage, creativity, and a relentless belief in the power of human thought. Jesse Douglas made significant contributions to geometry, variational calculus, and minimal surfaces, most notably solving the plateaus problem, a geometric challenge concerning minimal surfaces, for which he was awarded a Fields Medal in 1936. Jesse Douglas became the first ever Fields Medalist, the most prestigious award in mathematics, the Nobel Prize for mathematicians. He didn't just win it, he earned it. His work helped advance our understanding of soap bubble geometry and related mathematical concepts. Douglas wasn't chasing medals, he was chasing truth. His work opened doors to modern physics, material science, and even computer graphics, fields that touch our daily lives, from architecture to AI. Jesse Douglas, the mathematician, married Jesse Naylor in 1940 and had one son named Louis Philip Douglas. The marriage ended in divorce in 1950. Douglas spent decades teaching at MIT, shaping minds, mentoring future mathematicians. He wasn't just a genius. He was a guide, a mentor, a quiet architect of future brilliance. You may wonder, what does a math genius from the 1930s have to do with today? Everything. Jesse's work on minimal surfaces laid the foundation for modern engineering designs, computer graphics and simulations, material science, and even medical imaging, the shapes that hold skyscrapers, the graphics behind blockbuster films, the simulations that save lives, all echo the mathematics Jesse Douglas once dreamed of. 
Jesse Douglas passed away on October 7, 1965, in Manhattan, New York, at the age of 68. He was buried at Monty Four Seminary in Springfield Gardens, Queens, New York. No grand headlines, no roaring tributes, just a silent goodbye from a man who gave the world more than it ever realized. But sometimes, the loudest legacies are the quietest ones. The world may forget names, but it never forgets the change they bring. Jesse Douglas taught us that curiosity, when mixed with persistence, can solve the impossible. For every young mind wondering if their ideas matter, Jesse Douglas is the answer. His story isn't just about math, it's about the power of quiet genius that changes the world forever. Thanks for being with Awards. Subscribe to know more about international award winners and unsung heroes behind peace, science, and humanity.